Hello, today we are going to show you how to install the eDRS on your machine. First step, please make sure that you are using a Windows-based machine. Next step, please make sure you're in the correct browser. You can identify that you're in Internet Explorer by simply looking for the small gear in the top right-hand corner. If you do not see the small gear as indicated on the screen, please exit the browser and make sure you select Internet Explorer. The first step is going to add it to your trusted sites. So in order to add the link to your trusted sites, click the small gear at the top right hand corner and select internet options. Then we will select the security tab, select trusted sites and click the button that says sites. This is the first time you are adding the link to your trusted sites. It will load here. Simply click add and select close. The next step is add the link to your compatibility view settings. To do this, we will select the small gear again and select compatibility view settings. Again, if this is the first time that you're adding the link to your compatibility view settings, it will simply pre-fill and then select add and click close. Next, I will show you how to add the website to your favorites. In order to do so, click the star in the top right hand corner and select Add to Favorites. Once you have done so, and if you would like it to add to the top bar as shown here, simply click the small star and it automatically will be loaded. If you would like to rename it, simply highlight the link, right click, and select Rename. You may rename it whatever you would like. Once you are done, click OK and it will be renamed. The last and final step is you need to download and install the prerequisites. To do so, when you are on the login page, please select View Application Prerequisites toward the bottom. You will then receive a window giving you a list of options. Please make sure that you select the bottom, the Setup Wizard, which does all of the above. Once you click it, you will be asked at the bottom if you want to run or save the setup. Click the Run button, which will run the install. Please note that if you're using a work machine that you may not have administrative rights to make changes, so you may have to contact your IT department. If you are using a personal computer, you may not have to enter a username and password. Simply let the install run completely. Once the installation is complete, you may exit. And once you've returned to the screen, click OK. You may have to exit the browser and go back in to the home page for the changes to take effect. Once you have done so, simply enter your username and your password. Click login 